In this video we will be talking about this tripod here and that is by far the best tripod that you can get for filming with your smartphone. Hey what's up guys, Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today we will take a closer look at the tripod from Sandmark. It's this bad boy right here. It's about $100 and like I said in the intro, in my opinion, this is by far the best tripod that you can get whenever you're shooting with your iPhone or with any smartphone that you might have. And before we will take a closer look at the tripod, just make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's helping out the algorithm and it's helping me out to make more videos for you guys. So thank you. And now let's start with the review. So first off, let's answer the question why you would want to have a tripod because we live in 2022 and we are using our smartphones like handheld or we're using a gimbal because I know all of you love gimbals. And to be honest, I have to say I love gimbals myself and I love shooting handheld myself and that's also what I do most of the time but for certain things you just have to have a tripod and that might be whenever you're filming yourself so like I'm doing right now I could not do this without a proper tripod I mean I could do this I could use some books but that's just simply not a workflow that you would like to have and the cool part with this tripod is it's pretty light it's only about 700 grams so you could also be use it to vlogging so this makes it perfectly so whenever you're traveling because because you could be using it to film yourself statically with a talking head but you could also be using it for time lapses for examples or for long exposures and whenever you're on the go just put in your phone and you can use it to vlog. So these are the reasons why you would like to have a tripod and it's basically a must-have in every filmmaker's toolkit. So now let's check out how you can set up this tripod to make it work. So basically when you get it it looks just like this. At the top here you just have a little quick release plate that you can take out and on the quick release plate I at the moment have mounted my phone mount so you can just spread it and I'll just show you how you can mount your smartphone so I'll take my iPhone 13 Pro just put it in spread it in and that's basically how it looks and next up you just again attach the quick release plate to the tripod so just put it in make sure that it's secured and now I could basically start shooting with it at the top of the tripod you do have a very solid ball head so you can just you know unlock it and secure it in whatever way that you might want to have and this ball head is also what enables you to shoot vertically or horizontally depending on you know like what content you're shooting whether it's for Instagram or social media or I don't know a video for a website or something so just depending on what you prefer or what you need for a certain project you can do it both and now you might be thinking well okay that's all sounding pretty solid but I need to have a bigger tripod you know this it's not that high I mean at the moment it's like 30 centimeters or something but the cool part is you just unscrew this knob here and then it extends and then you have a bigger tripod so yeah you can basically put it onto the heights that you might want to have I do have to say it's not the biggest tripod on the planet so in case you would like to film I don't know yourself whenever you're standing outdoors then this is probably not the best tripod for that but you know for a travel tripod and whenever you're filming I don't know someone sitting or like I said a time lapse or something like this then I think this tripod is the way to go. Another thing that's also pretty cool with this tripod is you can not only extend the legs to shoot from high up it also has some of a low mode so that you can get really close to the ground which is also pretty cool for I don't know time lapses or for certain specific shots that you might want to get so yeah basically this tripod has it all it's built out of aluminum it feels very solid and yeah basically it ticks pretty much all the boxes except for being high enough to also shoot some people standing another thing that's also pretty cool for me personally is that it has a payload of around three kilograms so I can not only use it with my smartphone in case I'm shooting with my professional cameras then I can also use them so like I said whenever I'm traveling this just became my go-to tripod because for most things that I'm shooting I can just get around with just using this pretty fine and it's super light so comparing this to a big heavy bulky tripod this just basically takes no space at all so in case you are interested in that tripod you can just scroll down in the video description and check it out from Sandmark 
This is not a sponsored video. However, they did send me this tripod to test out. So huge thanks to Sandmark. But everything that I said in this video is as always 100% my true and honest opinion. And in case you would like to learn more about smartphone filmmaking, in case you want to also learn how you can make some cinema movie like quality with your smartphone, you can just also scroll down to the video description. This will bring you to our totally free webinar where I share the top five secrets to shooting cinematic videos with your smartphone. So check it out. It's totally for free. There are no costs for for you and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys in the next one like i said before the build quality is also very solid um, it's built of aluminum it's built out of aluminum I aluminum al aluminum 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 it's built out of al it's built out of aluminum i think